kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part three of my video series on Find Nearby Places using Google Places API in Android Studio. Okay, so in my previous part, I had done the do in background method in which we were, uh, uh, I mean, we were requesting for the uh, API response of Google Places API. Okay. So first of all, as I want to show you uh, the recap of my previous two parts. Okay, so we had this um, map fragment inside our activity, and we were showing our current location. And if now what we want is if the user clicks on a button, so the nearby places should be shown. For example, hospitals, restaurants, or anything. Okay. So before that we let's begin by dragging a button here and let's name the button as restaurant okay so whenever the user clicks on the button so the uh, uh, nearby restaurant marker will be shown on the google map okay so now inside our maps activity we need another method so we now need to request for the google places api so let's say public void request for okay so let's just rename it as find find restaurants all right so inside that what we want is okay so before that you need to uh, enable the api in the google uh, store so for that just click on google places a web api all right so here you go so you here you have when you click on here so you need to click on get started okay and you need to create your project inside that okay so from there you will uh, receive an api key all right so that api key you need to now copy that and paste it inside that okay this is my google places api okay so inside our find restaurant method we can say string builder string builder equals to new string builder and inside that we need to now create the url so i will just say https maps dot okay so for that we can have it google places web api documentation all right So there you can see that here we have this all right so we can uh, enter the url as maps dot google apis dot com slash maps slash api slash place as nearby search json all right and after that we will append different mm, parameters to it for example we need to append then we need to say and radius equals to 1000 meters okay so it means one within one kilometer show me the uh, nearby places okay and also we can say string builder dot append and we can say and keyword equals to and here we can say restaurant all right and uh, finally we can say dot append 
and here we say and key equals to plus so now we need to get the key so we can say get resources dot get string or dot string dot google places key all right so now we need to convert it to string so we can say string url equals to string builder dot to string and finally now we need the as you can see that inside our get nearby place places so we have these two okay these two parameters uh, we have the map and google map and string so inside our maps activity we can say object data transfer equals to new object and we can say two inside that and we can now can say data transfer of zero equals to so we can say m map and data transfer of index one will be the url all right and after that we just need to call the class so we can say get nearby places equals to new get nearby places and we will send the current reference and we can say get nearby places dot execute and inside that we will send the data transfer all right that was it for the maps activity so inside our so we can say we can click on on click method and we can say find restaurant okay so before that let's check if we have the internet okay all right guys so we in this video i have done the for the requesting of the user i mean for the api response and in my next and last part we will start working on the json parsing for the google places api all right guys so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye